evaluate our fellow Toastmasters and our guests in advance, and especially Russ. Great job on the speech, the final speech. Congratulations. Impressionism, impressed by Impressionism. This is her, um, my opinion, my opinion only. Just want to that. And I'm gonna, I just didn't have time to go through everything that was done. I'm going to go through what they gave me. Like explain each point. This was getting comfortable with visual aids, and the aids were his visual aid was very appropriate for this subject matter because he's trying to explain his impression of impressionism and explain what it is and how it relates to the history of painting. And an, an easy way of doing that is to simply have the actual paintings there showing you. So this is very appropriate for his subject matter. It did help, it helped the audience, helped me to understand what you were trying to explain as you went through the history of past artists and then you brought it to what, you, what impression is of how it became, how it came about. And it was clearly visible. I think everyone could see it as soon as we turned off the lights. It was able, we were able to see everything quite well. Use computer-based visuals, which was the uh, slideshow, and it was easy, very easy to read. Your graphics were easy to read. I know you said there was a couple uh, words that were missing in the slide, but other than that, your point was came across quite well, and it went smoothly. I think you moved from slide to slide very smoothly. That worked well. You did have a few hiccups, but you recovered very well, you handled it, and that's one thing we have to remember. Why we're here is you've got to remember you're not always going to be giving a speech where everything in the environment is going to be perfect. You have to be able to adapt quickly, and you did a great job by doing that. And your purpose was very clearly stated, and you followed through with it. And you had good body language, not a lot, but you had body language where you were standing and you were talking and pointing to the painting, and then you always refer back to the audience, and that's a good point to keep in mind. When you're working with visual aids, you've got to remember to look at your audience because sometimes people tend to just sit there and stare at a screen or a chart. And you did, they did very well with that. And your word choices were effective, I think, and you were well researched. You gave examples of the romanticism, the realism, the question of the kind of forget the Japanese wood painting, the title for that. What I liked about the speech the most was the subject matter brought us back to a back to a past topic. That was what Linda was saying, how we are always talking about movies and gossip with famous people. This brought us, that was their form of entertainment, was painting and live music. And this was a great way of bringing us back to that type of entertainment of fine arts. So you did a great job with the subject matter and could you have done differently? I think everything went well, just a few hiccups, you did a good job, and you recovered well from those. Just, I think you did a great job. Good job, Russell. Congratulations on your Dunsky, Mr. Evaluator.